database block size. Use a small block size for OLTP databases because they have short transactions, short rows and very few rows. One potential problem with this is high metadata overhead, particularly in a situation where you're using dictionary managed table spaces. Dictionary managed table spaces are, however, out of date in the most recent versions of Oracle. You should actually be using locally managed table spaces. Locally managed table spaces contain a bitmap on the header of the file and the structure or physical extent structure within the data file is managed by that bitmap as opposed to by the metadata within the system structures for the database itself. Obviously, as a result of using a locally managed table space and a bitmap header, you can ultimately, in very highly concurrent situations, get contention for the data file headers. The way to counteract that is to split files. It's not like striping. It's simply splitting the access to data file headers and reducing data file header contention. Larger block sizes are more effective in data warehouse environments where you have large sequential transactions which perform large amounts of I.O. all at once. The advantage of this is more compactness and therefore better space usage and also low metadata or lower metadata overhead because there simply is smaller amounts of metadata. One of the biggest problems is poor index usage in this situation because indexes are by their very nature small, they're compact, and when you have a large block size and you do a read, you do some I.O., you read lots and lots of data. If you're searching for small numbers of rows or an individual row, you're still going to read large numbers of physical I.O. space because of the large block sizes. On the other hand, with data warehouses and large block sizes, quite often data warehouse tables in a data warehouse database are appended to in the physical order in which the data is required, not always but quite often, so that when you read that data you're actually going to read it out in the same order in which it was placed into the database. It is unlikely that a data warehouse is used to find small amounts of data. It's more likely that a data warehouse is used to read large amounts of data and typically in the appended order. There are obvious advantages to having a mixed functional database where you can consider the use of multiple block sizes. In other words, for parts such as static data or OLTP data, you could use smaller block sizes and for parts of the database that are used for large transactions, such as a data warehouse section, you could use large block sizes. That's the basics of physical I.O. distribution.